Hello and welcome to Studio Renovation Vlog. I'm excited because I am going to be renovating a brand new studio. Before we start this video, I wanted to come in and tell you a bit about the background of what's going on. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Holly Rose Stones and I am a photographer slash artist. It's been a life long dream to have my own studio. Me and Jack, my partner, used to live in Kent. We decided just before lockdown to move back up to Doncaster where I'm from. We've been organising this for about a year but the lockdown sort of sped it up by a month because we're like right we'll just get up north now and then deal with everything later. We are selling our house down south so you've probably seen on this channel all the years that, that we spent in that house and that studio that I had there. It was basically just a bedroom in our house. I also had a prop room where I could keep on my prop. So grateful that I had that space and it's been an amazing few years doing that but I missed my family too much. I wanted to move up north so we decided to move in with my parents. So we're currently living with my parents. This was my home from about the age of 12 to about 19 when I moved out. It's been in my life my whole sort of teen years, adult years. I just wanted to cut in here and say that a very big part of this story is that my grandparents live with us as well and have done since I was about 12 too. So I just needed to add that in because it would make more sense later and plus I can't believe I just forgot that. So when we decided to move back up north we were like well we'll move in with my parents and then we're going to sell our house and move on somewhere else. So this studio renovation isn't going to be a permanent thing however it's going to be for the next year or so let's say or maybe even longer I don't know yet. We don't even know because we're not sure what we're going to do with our lives. We'll have to just wait and see. Essentially what it is, is a stable block. We used to have a horse called Bluebell and one called Ben. And they used to chill in the stable block and that's where they lived and obviously in the field. Since then, my grandad has used one as the workshop, which he does a lot of tools, DIY. He's the most talented man you'll ever know in your life when it comes to DIY. If you ask him to fix a problem, he'll find a way. So he's got this workshop. Then there's stable one and two and then there's a garage at the end which he's converted. Over lockdown we had a discussion and we were talking about how much he uses his workshop and he was saying how little he uses it now and I was like you know what would make a really good studio? That workshop. <laughs> and he's kindly kindly let me convert it into my own studio which brings us on to the renovation. As you'll see throughout this video it is an absolute shit tip in there let's be honest. The idea is is we're going to move his workshop into one of the stables then we're going to have a stable for storage because there is need for storage around here and then the workshop is going to be converted into my studio. It's been our dream to renovate somewhere so this is kind of a nice stepping stone into that. So every time we do renovation on the project I'm going to vlog it and then right at the end I'm going to do a big overview of what I did, how it looks now, before and after. I really hope you enjoy this video and I hope you can enjoy the process, see all the ups and downs because I will include it all in this series. So without further ado, let's get day one to go. Actually it wasn't day one, it was day three, but I decided to start vlogging yesterday. So day one of the renovation vlogs. So this is workshop. Then we've got stable number one, that's stable number two, and then that's garage. So we cleared this out the other day and now it's this one's turn. So as you can see it is full with loads of stuff that needs to be gone. Look at all those vines just come through the ceiling. And now I'm going to give you a tour of the studio or what will be the studio because this is now my grandma's workshop at the moment. So you come in my granddad used the old kitchen out of the house that they renovated. So the house that we're living in now, which is my mum and dad's, that was used to be the kitchen that was in, in it. And the floor is a bit uneven, so I need to work that out at some point. It's a huge space. It's about five metres by four and a half metres. It needs a lot of work doing to it. Um, but I think I'll just talk to you about that when it comes to it, because at the minute, I'm not even sure where to start, apart from to clear it out.
is the tour of the studio or workshop to be studio. I'm excited. Jack's already on it, so I better go help him. <laughs> this was a door and a wall for the pigsty. Then it has a separation wall inside, as Rosie's just demonstrating there. And I assume there would have been a door there, joining it. Yeah, you got a frame there for the door. But there's so much stuff in here, so much cool stuff. Could do with some gloves, do not we? Oh, do you want to get the gloves? Yeah, I'll go get gloves. Got the gloves. kitchen sink <laughs> but there is a kitchen sink here or a bathroom sink but look at the little trough where they would have drunk out of how interesting I don't think I can carry this on my own it's quite heavy so we're making a keep pile a pile that we need to sort through I need to ask my mum and dad what they want to do with it and then we've got a pile for getting rid of because this is super broken glass and then it's just a dodgy old table which we might be able to sell we might be able to sell this this is just some drywall that i think has gone off so we're gonna get rid of it and there's rosie yeah there's rosie in a basket yeah but we've got all sorts at the moment we've got two sinks some banister rails, an old bag full of tools, a bin. This is a chandelier, I think. Yep. We've got a watchdog, haven't we? We've got a watchdog. <laughs> oh, got some Guinness World Record books. Millennium edition. Did anyone else have these? 1999. It's like a Grim Reaper. It is, well, that's what Grim Reaper are. That's the same tool. What's this thing? That's a rotivator. Rotivator. That's an old rotivator, that it's look. proper old, isn't it? Cool. I mean, these I used to keep in more all plumbing stuff in, you know, when I first came in. Yeah. All had for different fittings yeah, for plumbing yeah. and stuff like that. Go and give you the demonstration. Like Don't chop your legs off. <laughs> Can you imagine how many people it would take the old field of that corn? I mean, the corn, the corn oh, is yeah. thick as well, isn't it? Yeah, they used to just go along and uh, you know, take all the corn down. Clear that first and then put them there. Yeah. Let's see that then. I might get the blower. No, it's just got small old yeah, yeah. No, I was just thinking like. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Be smart, smart shopping, smart saving. We've cleared this bit. We're going to move all this stuff 
here, but we need to clean this first. Just so we don't have to move it outside and then move it back in again. I'm not sure if I actually told you about this one. Uh, we cleared this one out fully. I mean, it doesn't look like it's been cleared out, but we basically been putting stuff from the other stable into this one. This is the one that's gonna be the workshop for my granddad. We just need to organize it and then move all of this stuff. This is my dad. He used to be Taekwondo world champion. So that's him doing a big kick. Whoa. And we're gonna move all of this stuff into this one and then this is going to get organized into the workshop here and we've just been discussing what we're going to do in the workshop or the studio whoa i'm bright because i want to keep the cost down of this studio renovation because at the end of the day it's been a bit hard with coronavirus and all that um funds and income so we were discussing it and my granddad like i said earlier is the most talented man i've ever known in my life when it comes to construction tools making things being an artist being creative and so i got him in and asked him about what we could do to the roof so up here my granddad actually started putting some insulation in but as you can see there is some holes in the roof i would ideally like to get a brand new roof for this place but I think it's gonna just cost too much and take too much time. I wanna be able to turn it around and get in it as soon as possible. Um, and my granddad said that when it's been raining, it's actually not that bad in here, like it doesn't leak. He's never noticed any water and it doesn't actually feel damp in here either. So the roof tiles are still doing the job, um, but there's also a massive ivy, um, I think it's ivy, but some sort of plant that's trailing over the top of it, which is also protecting it. Now, in an ideal situation, I would get a brand new roof, um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to clean it out and then we're going to do the roof with some polystyrene and I think we're going to put maybe a membrane on it so that when the water does decide to come in, because I'm sure it will at some point, uh, it hopefully gets directed down the roof and onto the um, lane or outside. That means I need some new guttering as well. So I'm going to make this as cheap as possible. Never ever done anything like this before. So if you've got any suggestion of what we can do to the roof, then please let me know because I have no idea. But we're going to give it a go. Probably not the best tool for the job. Oh my god, I mean, oof. I think I might have some spiders in my hair. Yeah, probably not the best tool for the job, but it's working, so we'll just use it. And Rosie just keeps following me around every single place I go. What is wrong with you? Did you miss me? <laughs> Get outside. Here goes your knees. 
Are you guys newbies? <laughs> oh, oh, it does look amazing. <gasps> I mean, you can't really tell on here. Wow, how cool is that? It's loads better than that. Don't look perfect, but no, but it's way better than it was. Well, this is the storage room anyway, so I can't believe how much stuff you just got off there. Ah! Just fell on my head. What is it? All off the ceiling. Literally, all the cobwebs. The amount of spiders that'll be in there. Jack's now going to do this one because the other one came out so well. <laughs> so we are currently just finding a place for all of this stuff here so that we can put it away because it's now half past four and we can't leave it outside so we're just going to find a place for everything but this is the room we've got a good layout at the moment the idea is to put the kitchen units across here and then to the back and then we're going to cover this wall pretty much the clearing out, the moving around, the rearranging part of it, um, ready for the workshop to be tidied out because we wanted to make sure that we got everything else in its own place first before we started on the workshop because that's going to be a massive job. I'm heading up to get the tractor so that we can remove all the wood, paper, everything that will burn essentially onto the bonfire because I think that's the best way to get rid of it at the moment. So I'm just going to get the tractor out. the end result. All the storage bits and bobs in here. We've got an empty-ish room in here, ready for the workshop to be manoeuvred into it. And then this is the next job. That's exciting. <laughs> I think we're gonna leave it here. What do you think, Jack? Have you had a good day? No? Can't hear him. So yeah, that's the end of this video of the renovation studio renovation vlogs if you'd like to see more then please give me a thumbs up not sure when the next day we're going to be doing it but it'll be the next few weeks and we can get this place sorted and tidied out um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye say bye bye, bye. <laughs>